Hello and welcome to OSU Drupal 7 Droplets. This is Joe Finn and today we are going to take a look at how to add a reCAPTCHA onto your Drupal web form. So before we get started we should probably understand what reCAPTCHA is. Uh, reCAPTCHA is a service that's provided by Google and what it does is it presents a test that determines whether an entity is an automated entity like a bot or a human being. Um, this is kind of important because web forms can be used by bots to do a whole bunch of annoying things via your website. So at a bare minimum, what it can do is add a whole bunch of junk mail into your inbox, which is just kind of a general waste of resources because you have to spend your time to go through this stuff. Um, in a worst case scenario, you can actually kind of have your form swarmed by bots, um, which can then overwhelm your system and take your site down. Um, in any regard for any range of things within there, we just don't want this stuff happening. So we use reCAPTCHA along with some other tools in our toolbox to help us um, prevent abuse of our system. So uh, in doing that, we have to actually configure it um, for the way we want to use it on our site. In this particular case, we're going to add one to a web form. Um, so first, what we need is a web form. Here we have a very simple one that I've made up. And once you have your web form made, you need to get the ID number so you can tell reCAPTCHA where it needs to be applied. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to just click Edit on your web form. And then when you do that, your ID number will appear up in the address bar. So for this particular web form, the ID number is 311. So keep that in your brain there, and we'll bounce out of the edit form. And the next thing we have to do is configure reCAPTCHA. So in our particular system here, OSU Drupal 7, you need to be an architect to do most configurations in an OSU Drupal 7 site. So if your administration menu up here doesn't look like what I'm showing you, then you will need to contact an architect of your site to help you add reCAPTCHA. So um, that being said, once you have access to your configuration panel, you go up to your admin menu, hover on where it says configuration, go down to where it says people, and then come over to where it says CAPTCHA. In this particular instance, I'm going to open a brand new tab so we can flip back and forth easily and we get our CAPTCHA configuration screen. And it's kind of intimidating looking, but don't let it worry you because it, it really isn't that bad. Uh, first things first, we'll see that we do have a default challenge type set, and that is reCAPTCHA. And as we scroll down, we can see that there's some patterns that are applied in different ways here. We want a web form pattern, and we've got an example right here where it says web form client form with the underscores. So I just copy this paste it in the field, and put our ID number that we just found there at the end. And then I tell it to use the default challenge type, which is reCAPTCHA, and I scroll down. And you'll see that there are many different configurations on this form. These are globally applied to all CAPTCHAs that are used on this site. So we suggest that you don't mess around with these unless you know what you're doing. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the Save Configuration button. Give it a click, and then you will get some confirmations up at the top of the screen. You'll be told that a CAPTCHA point has been added and that your CAPTCHA settings have been saved. So now we need to test our CAPTCHA. So if we come back to our original form, reload the form, you might be a little dismayed because you don't see the CAPTCHA anywhere. Well, let me explain why. A CAPTCHA will only show to an anonymous user. Um, in our case, we're logged into the site, but also if you're, if you're logged into Oregon State's central authentication system, so if you're using Canvas or Banner or any one of the other big enterprise systems here, um, you will be able to bypass the CAPTCHA. Since you're already validated, we don't really have a need to um, hinder your progress any further. So only an anonymous user who doesn't belong to OSU or who isn't logged into OSU systems will see a CAPTCHA. So what do we do? Well, we open up a brand new browser that you're not logged into. 
So um, here I've preloaded this with the form, and of course the form was added in before we added the CAPTCHAs. So let's reload the page, and you'll see that the CAPTCHA pops up. So your anonymous user would then fill out whatever's on the form, then they would go through the CAPTCHA, and they might be presented with some extra tests, and they would not be allowed to submit the form until the tests were successfully completed. And that is how we add a CAPTCHA onto a Drupal web form. This has been Joe Finn with Web and Mobile Services, and thanks for joining us. Hope to see you again soon.